Good morning, Colonel Bai. Today is Thursday, April 18th. It's a day four. I am Alex, and here are your morning announcements. Anyone interested in joining Slav, that's Colonel Bai's tech club, please come to the meeting today in the little art room at lunch. Also, there's a workout club meeting today, also at lunch, in Gym C. Jeff Green, the founder of Students on Ice, came right here to CB on Tuesday. Let's check out our CB exclusive with him. Hey guys, so I am here with Arctic Explorer and founder of Students on Ice, Jeff Green. So for those of us who weren't lucky enough to make it out to the presentation, would you be able to tell us a little bit about the organization? Sure. Yeah, well, it's great to be here at Colonel Bai again. And we talked about uh, the polar regions, the Arctic and the Antarctic, and a lot of the issues that those parts of the world are facing, as well as global issues. Um, but in terms of the actual Students Nice program, I shared that it's a, a program for high school students, 14 to 18 years old, to go on these educational journeys to the Arctic and the Antarctic each year. And on the journeys, the students travel with these teams of experts and elders and scientists and world leaders, astronauts, educators. And we're really looking at everything from history, culture, sciences, flora, fauna, but trying to learn about these really amazing parts of the planet. So it sounds like it never gets boring. How many times have you personally been to the Arctic or have you lost count by now? The Arctic, I've lost count. The Antarctic, I, I know it's 80 times because I had to count a few years ago. At what point did you start bringing students down with you? I started taking students 13 years ago. Um, and I'd been leading trips to the poles prior to that, for mostly for adult groups. See, I saw how, how profound the experience was for these people at kind of at the middle or end of their lives and thought, imagine if we could give that same experience to youth like you at the beginning of your life and how that experience could shape your your perspectives and change your thinking a little bit. So using the polar regions like these huge classrooms. For sure. Are there any values that you hope to instill in the students? Is there something that you hope to that they kind of go home with, that they take back with them? Definitely. Um, global perspective, connection to nature, and respect and understanding for this incredible planet that we live on. All right, yeah, and so for those uh, students who want to get in contact with you or want to learn more about the program, how can they reach you? Studentsonice.com, easy, and you can call us, email us, come see us, but all the information is there on the website. And I should add, too, that most of the students, it's quite expensive, as you can imagine, to go to right. these places, but almost all the students now for the Arctic expedition are funded through scholarships that are supported through our foundation, thanks to governments, corporations, and philanthropists, and so on. And we also have scholarships for Antarctica, too. So don't, if you're interested, don't hesitate to apply. That's awesome. So it's available are you to so many apply? people. I think so. I might look into it. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. All right, so that is Jeff Green, everybody. It's Man, that looks exciting. Make sure you get your forms in if you're interested. Ivy Dinners on May 22nd at Lego Bar and Grill. For students, tickets are $35. For guests, tickets are $30. So sign up if you're interested. Safe is selling their human t-shirts today at lunch in the atrium for $15. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's find out the results from the student council elections. Well, thanks, handsome. So we're here at the red carpet event, and in our hands we hold the winning candidates for student council. Before we get started, though, sorry if we pronounce your name wrong. So, Colonel Vi, running for public relations officers, you had Victor Kepad, Chu Heng Zing, and John Finless. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new public relations officer, John Finless. Well, congratulations, John. Now running for secretary, we've got Emma Lackey and Christine Nguyen. Now, our new secretary is Emma Lackey. Well done, Emma. Up next, we have three candidates for our two spirit coordinator positions, Marina Thompson, Nelly Yousefzi, and Henry Wells, and your new spirit coordinators, Marina and Henry! Now, running for co-pres, it's a toss-up between Curtis McFree, Aaron Armstrong, Laura McNeil, David Huang, Yuang Chen, and Jeff Zhang. And we'll be back with your winners after this. Do you think your toothpaste is working? Let's find out. Come on! 
Donna, what kind of toothpaste do you brush with? Just kidding. Your two newly elected co-presidents for the 2013 and 2014 year are, drum roll please, Laura McNeil and Jeff Zhang. Congratulations to all our winners and a special thanks to all of you for participating. We'll see you next time. Back to the desk. And congratulations again to everybody who participated. That's all from me today, CB. Have a marvelous day.